This freeform create example is going to show how we can use a diploma master and add variable content to it right in freeform create. So we're going to use the variable data document workflow. So here's our master. And now we're going to pick our data source. So here you see all of the columns in our data source. Uh, it's all text fields. Everything looks correct here. So now um, our diploma master plays here. So now we're just ready to uh, drag and drop the variable fields onto it. So we're just going to start dragging and dropping. So we're going to update the field here to Times New Roman, the font size. Hold italic, and I'm going to choose 26. So I don't want bold. I don't like how that looks. See, this is the beauty of the visual preview. You can see um, right when you're doing this how these fonts look. So I'm going to extend the size of my text box so that I am sure that I have the right amount of information, um, the right size text box to accommodate uh, the information that will fit in it. So here we're going to add the uh, student's name. We're going to use our stack variable feature fields feature, which again will dynamically adjust uh, the spacing of the different fields depending on how long each one of them are. And then we add our degree field here. a little bit bigger. There we go. And now I will align all of the text uh, fields to the center. So just something else to check here. Um, by default, the fields do not have a fill, which is correct. I don't want that. I want the text boxes to be transparent. If you wanted a fill, you could go in and add it here. But for now, for my purpose, this looks good. So now I'll preview it. And you can see uh, all of the fields have populated here. So I can uh, sort through. Here we're looking, we're sorting by the degree field. I can look at the different options here to make sure everything looks correct. Uh, this looks fine. Uh, so now we're actually going to go to the name because I want to make sure everything shows up correctly. Because some people have middle names, some don't, some have middle initials. So I just want to make sure that my text boxes can accommodate everything. So I'm actually going to go to my last name. And I'm going to filter on the longest one. That looks correct. Uh, and then I'm actually going to go to the middle initial because I want to see who has middle initials and or middle names. And I want to make sure that we've got enough room to accommodate that. So again, I can just click down through the records or I can search on the longest and shortest. Happen to be already on the longest. I have enough room here. The alignment looks good. Uh, so this is now ready to send to a fiery server and print.